the top of the New Zealand Pops is causing quite a sensation. It's just like always been the benchmark. It's probably the best hundred dollars I've ever invested. When I first recorded Paul Year, they were horrified. <laughs> the freezing works I have to say was, you know, that was the lifeblood of party. Well, one big All family, mates. one big family. These people are praying for the survival of their town. Give us a little taste. Oh, yeah! yeah da, 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 and away I went. Hey guys, we're going to record it. We don't need any money, we'll find it. The whole studio falls up. Some of us had never ever seen a microphone before. Del Van Eft was saying, when you come back, I want space invader noises. And I'm going, oh, whatever. I thought it was a toy, actually. <laughs> we had heard there was a guy who could do the Michael Jackson thing. Find that guy. A lot of people said he was mad. They want us to do what? Righto, you two, sing your parts. And he wasn't really recording us. There's a the few moments in your life where you pull over and listen. It changed everything, really. It gave us all a lot more confidence. I played the backing takes to her. You know what she says to me? You are going to have many enemies. Him and I just never got on. I said, have you played the song to your kids? <gasps> they love it. He took Poye to the world. For the first ever time on British television, Poye! They want you to appear on the Royal Command performance in Scotland. I said, we haven't got any money to do that. And so I went and mortgaged my house. Hey, Vale here. Like me, are you a movie lover? Well, a list has been released of the top 100 films of the 21st century. And we have cut it down to give you the top 10 films as selected by 177 film critics from around the world. At number 10, No Country for All Men by Joe and Ethan Cohen from 2007. At number 9, A Separation by Asghar Farahadi from 2011. Number 8, Yee Yee, A One and uh, A Two by Edward Yang from 2000. Number 7, The Tree of Life by Terence Malik from 2011. Number 6, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind by Michael Gondry from 2004. Number 5, Boyhood by Richard Linklater from 2014. Number Number four, Spirited Away uh, by Ayao Mikayazi uh, from 2001. Number three, There Will Be Blood by Paul Thomas Anderson from 2007. Number two, In the Mood for Love by Wong Karvai from 2000. And number one, Malholland Drive by David Lynch from 2001. Do you agree with this list? How many of these films have you seen? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye-bye.